Hello, this is David Gardashti and this is my dear friend Nicholas. Pleasure. Ebst, brilliant doctor. I think he's gonna save the world and really teach the people what you have seen going through it yourself with the IV game and uh, scientifically, medically, what do you think of the whole thing? Yeah, I'll just leave it up to you. Go ahead. Hey, so being, you know, going through, going through med school and being trained in medicine, American medicine, we, uh, we believe in something called evidence-based medicine. So uh, unless we could prove it, it doesn't really exist, which is completely, completely the inappropriate uh, ability to, to comprehend what Ibogaine is. Uh, I thought I had it all figured out. I could take this medication to feel like that, and this one to reverse the medication of, of that. And you know what? It was a complete, complete wrong idea. I've been through through conventional American treatment centers. You know, I've been prescribed Adderall by well-knowing psychiatrists. But in the end, where do they get me? They got me to near-death experience. So since I've been here, I did research Ibogaine a lot. I, I went over some scientific uh, current research proposals that are underway in the United States that are maybe light years behind what David has seen, treated. His statistics are far more, far more vast and experienced than even some of the biggest PhD, MD doctors. And I'm not just saying that because I'm standing here next to him. It's because he's saved my life. I paid you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, an infinite amount, actually. Well, but, uh, he, he I, happens to be a very wealthy guy with a very wealthy family. He doesn't need my money. <laughs> so, I began though, it's something that may possess, or actually absolutely does possess, a complete, complete, you know, uh, ability to treat vast diseases. However, we don't really understand completely everything, but anything that we do show in medicine shows that it works but despite medicine and science there's a completely completely other and maybe even bigger aspect to it so as i was saying you know during medical school and during residency it's just Competitiveness and any and every advantage that could be attained, whether it be amphetamines, which are Adderall, whether uh, you know lack of sleep, you know there's nothing that you know someone who's got motivation to the point of obsession that that you know could go any anything in excess is no good. So yeah, yeah, you have to a little bit explain to the parents also. Or the parents many times do to their children. That pressure that you gotta come with A's and you gotta be top of your class and that that costs the, the, the kids. They don't realize that. And in reality, what does that mean? It, it doesn't really mean much, except maybe uh, inducing a drug issue with your kid. But in 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 addition to that, you know, I was also in a very very dark place in my life and. I went through every doctor, the best psychiatrist, the best therapist, and what did they do? They put me on medication that made me feel absolutely worse. And do you know what medication, because I'm leaving now in the next 15 minutes, do you know what medication I'm leaving on right now? Absolutely nothing. And I'm sure that's a big blow to big American pharmacy companies. And that's another thing. Why is Ibogaine illegal in the US? It's a simple, simple thing. Who's the biggest lobbyist in Washington, D.C.? The pharmaceutical companies. So why treat someone once and cure them once, like in the case of Ibogaine, versus countless and countless Suboxone and methadone clinics and antidepressants? Unfortunately, this is the society that we live in, and even if we could help one person, it's a successful job. So, my personal experience with Ibogaine, was I a little bit uh, skeptical? 
yes, I was skeptical because I thought I knew everything because I had some type of a god complex. Every doctor does to a certain degree. But Ibogaine, it's not a medication because everyone knows that the best doctor is the human body. And what does Ibogaine do? It just reminds the human body to start fixing itself. It triggers, it triggers in every cell in the body, every vital organ, central nervous center. And still, the bit of a doctor in me that wants to explain it, it treats hepatitis C. It is proven, proven by Columbia Ivy League University to start reversing the, 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 the disease of Parkinson. That's a neurodegenerative disease. That means it's got unlimited potential in Alzheimer's. Who knows? Maybe in autism. Well, we treat it to people for Alzheimer's successfully. Exactly. Look for that data in American medicine. You won't find it. Why? Because it's been silenced. Well, I gotta say this. The drug companies in America have room. I mean, there is, you need the pharmaceutical companies. There are things that need yes. to be treated. Yes. Yes. And for example, Suboxone, Methadone, they have a place taking people off the street. Okay, but not or for, for continuously for, for the rest of the life. For maintenance is an absolute decreased quality of life and it's a slave to absolutely just another substance. So I'm not going to sit here and knock Suboxone completely, but only in five to six, seven days, not five years worth of Suboxone. So I guarantee you, or, David's, or David will give you your money back, that you feel better after four to five days of Ibogaine than five days of Suboxone and then cold turkey quit. David's money back to you, <laughs> if that's not the that's case. That's what you say, I, I agree. Well, I don't think we have, we never had one person, uh, over 2,000 people we have treated, not one person left this, the, uh, the place on withdrawal or craving. And people have to understand that it's withdrawal, craving, and the third thing is, you know, your evil inclination or temptations. Well, that's your free choice. That we cannot take away, or I begin cannot take, take that away from you. You might have to take that up with God, and I don't think he's going to change his ways because he blessed you enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's it.